Let's kick things off with a highlight from the auction, a 1934 D Washington quarter graded mint state 66, which sold for $690 on April 1st, 2024. But that's not all. Another 1934 D quarter, also graded as an MS-66 superb gem, fetched $850 at the same auction. What makes these two coins particularly interesting is that they represent two distinct die varieties, the first one featuring a medium motto and the second a heavy motto. For those new to the terminology, light motto, medium motto, and heavy motto are terms used to describe the different varieties of the 1934 Washington quarter. These differences specifically refer to the appearance and thickness of the lettering in the motto, In God We Trust, on the obverse of the coin. The medium motto variety boasts lettering that is pronounced and moderately struck, offering clarity and distinctness with, with some variability in thickness. On the other hand, the heavy motto variety showcases bold, deeply struck lettering with thick and well-defined characters that stand out prominently on the coin's surface. So folks, if you're examining your quarters, pay close attention. If you come across a medium or heavy motto variety in mint condition, know that you're holding on to something quite special. Don't let it go for a bargain. Stay tuned as we explore more intriguing finds and share insights on how to recognize and value these numismatic treasures. Behold, this 1940 Jefferson nickel is not just any coin. It's a proof coin minted specifically for collectors who appreciate the highest quality. Proof coins boast a mirror-like finish and exceptional detail achieved through the use of specially prepared dies and blanks and often struck multiple times to accentuate the design features and finish to perfection. Their purpose isn't for circulation, but to showcase the pinnacle of minting craftsmanship. This remarkable piece has been graded PR68 by PCGS, a testament to its near perfect condition. It carries a unique die variety showcasing the reverse design of 1938, notable for the mushy appearance of the steps on Monticello. This is in stark contrast to the reverse of 1940, which is characterized by sharply defined individual steps. Such distinct features mark this coin as a true rarity, culminating in a sale price of $9,600 on March 28, 2024. A collector's dream, this nickel exemplifies the blend of history, artistry, and rarity that makes numismatics so fascinating. Next up, we present a captivating 1936 proof Lincoln scent. This coin stands out not only for its age, but also for its remarkable condition, having been graded as PR67 red. Achieving such a high grade is quite extraordinary for a coin that's approaching a century in age. Furthermore, this piece is distinguished by its brilliant finish, a characteristic that contributes significantly to its value. The 1936 proof Lincoln scents come in two varieties, satin finish and brilliant finish, with the latter being showcased here. It's worth noting that large-scale proof production halted in 1916, marking a hiatus from the production of matte proof Lincoln scents and buffalo nickels, as well as brilliant proof silver coins. After a 20-year break, the Mint resumed the production of proof coins for collectors, spanning from 1936 to 1942, and subsequently from 1950 onwards. This superb gem proof exemplifies numismatic beauty, with brilliant orange surfaces, mirrored fields, and gently frosted devices. Such a striking appearance led to its sale for an impressive $10,200. Have you spotted the unusual feature on the reverse side of this proof Washington quarter? Look closely and you'll notice an S mark on the eagle's chest. Rest assured, this, rest assured, this isn't the result of someone tampering with the coin. What we have here is the highly coveted 1952 proof quarter, affectionately dubbed the Super Bird. Jamie Hernandez explains the context behind this curiosity. Back in 1952, television options were limited, and the Superman TV show was a cultural phenomenon. It's widely believed that a Mint employee, likely a Superman enthusiast, intentionally placed an S Mint mark on the reverse die of a 1952 proof Washington quarter. As a result, every quarter struck from this die bears the S mark on the eagle's chest. This distinctive marking has led to the coin being widely known as the Superbird variety, a playful nod to the superhero it alludes to. 
This unique attribute has not only made the coin a sought-after piece among collectors, but also a fascinating snippet of pop culture intersecting with numismatics. This particular Superbird specimen fetched $154 on April 1st, 2024, a testament to its appeal and the intriguing story behind its creation. Delving further into our collection, we come across a remarkable 1914 D. Lincoln scent, boasting a Mint State 65 red grade. This scent is especially significant due to its relatively low production of fewer than 1.2 million coins, securing its status as a highly sought-after branch mint key in this popular series. The 1914 D stands out as even scarcer in high grade than the much celebrated 1909 S VDB issue, with most mint state survivors appearing in MS63 and MS64 grades, predominantly in the brown and red and brown categories. Fully red specimens, such as this gem red example, are considerably rarer and more desirable. Our showcased coin features striking deep amber red and orange surfaces immaculately preserved without any signs of distracting abrasions or spots. It represents a prime example of this hard-to-find Colorado mint issue and highlighting its uniqueness and value. This sought-after penny captivated collectors and ultimately sold for $18,000 on March 28, 2024. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating finds and insights into the world of coin collecting. Happy coin collecting.